Ladies and gentlemen, Cam James. So, what do you guys want to see today? I got so many different brands. I got Vans, I got Nikes, I got Jordans. Let's do these. Bam. Nikes. So, I gotta tell you guys, I had stayed away from the game of just buying everything and getting everything. I hadn't shot the show in a while. And, you know, this year was really good, more inspired. And like I told you guys in past episodes, Nike has been one of those big inspirations to get me back into the game of going and collecting and dropping things that I actually like. Um, so I went to the store and I seen these. I was like, yeah, what is this? Like, is this some type of old man cool shoe? I'm like, oh man, is this perfect for me? I got a robe on, so I don't know. My shorts, my shorts swaggy though. But these 2.0 ones, I was like, you know what? I want to talk about these compared to what I, the last Air Max one for real, for real, I bought for Air Max Day. These were super crazy. If you happen to be, if I'm not mistaken, in LA, they came in this crazy plastic bubble. That was insane like just insane of course i didn't get that but i do got these and they're awesome these guys started with the the air max ones that don't have the highlighted bottom and i actually do not have those those og red and og blue air max ones i do not have those so i don't even want to sit here and lie to you these were my first ones. And I kind of actually like having these first when it comes to like that OG family of Air Max ones because this more matches who I am, matches, more, matches my aesthetic. I like OG stuff you guys know, you know, of course, with my Jordans and, and different things and Air Force Ones. But with the Air Max game, I didn't grow up like just this big Air Max one guy. I kind of grew up more growing up in Atlanta and the different places I grew up. When I actually could pay attention to sneakers, the Air Max 95 was more of my thing. And that was kind of a wild shoe. 95, 96 was kind of more of my style. So those kind of had a wild color scheme to it. Uh, when I looked at shoes like these, like, oh, these is, you know, basic shoes. So when these dropped a couple of years ago or so, um, I was happy. This was, matches my aesthetic perfectly. Lime green back behind here. And you guys have seen me talk about these shoes before on the show. You know, it's just like, add a little flavor for me. I appreciate that. And this is what they're doing now. Am I mad at this? No, I bought it. Um, comfortable? Definitely. It's, it's, it's a little bit different now. They, uh, let me see this. We got our same there in our toe box. We're trying to see the differences. I'm not sure, is this a suede on the check here? This, see, this check is more raised than suede. The suede raises off of being back on suede. This is more of like a rubble, a rubber type of material. Not mad at it. For me, I feel that they could have made this part 3M, this gray part. If this gray part was 3M, I would have really liked that a lot. But these are 2.0s right here, Air Max 1s. <sighs> so some more comparisons. Guys, do you remember the first time I talked about these? I think I was at my mom's house. My old, the old sneaker trap, man. Mom's crib. And I was telling you guys, these shoes came out in 96. It was an Asian exclusive. Actually, it came out in like 2000. It was an Asian, it was Asia only exclusive. I seen it like one time, I couldn't wait to get it. Finally got it, it was one of my grills. I wore them to, as you can see, warm. I really gave it a wear. Coming from DS to this, boom. And then they released these. Um, I will say I have mixed reviews, and, and that is even before we even get into details of the shoe. I do feel a type of way about them dropping this again because, I don't know, I just feel like certain things should just stay special. Leave it in Asia, man. Make the, make the hunt for the sneaker more interesting when you have to really go out there because this shoe only released on, the other, on another continent. But to play devil's advocate or to be that guy, 
like I said, give kids their own story. Let them have their own story. And this is a great shoe. The Nike more up tempo, this red colorway. Um, they kept it pretty, pretty legit. I will say that I'm gonna be that guy. The suede on these joints from 2000, to me, are way more butter. This is kind of like a more tough suede, but I don't know. Like I don't know, the suede on these feel more rubber. Like this is suede, no rubber feel. This feels rubbery. Um, do I love that? No. But once again, I have this experience. This is my experience. This is for you. And I'm saying I'm a lover of the shoe. I was like, I got to talk about this. You know, like I didn't think they would bring these back. They did. That's wild. But this is my story. So my story has butter suede. You know, like they made sure to keep it very similar. The 96 is on the back. Looking for different, looking for major differences. Yep, Nike check, Nike check hits right there. Boom, on our tongue, on our tongue. How do you guys feel when Nike does things like this? And I'm speaking to my young collectors and my older collectors. How do you guys feel about when Nike brings back a shoe that had, it was already special in its own right, and now it kind of takes away from that specialness? How do you guys feel? I mean, the insides, did we change our insides? Yep, no, we got one difference, there we go. Oh yeah, you know, I love doing this for you guys. This is the best thing ever. <sighs> I have to call this sneaker porn a little bit. There we go. So, you get to see my worn out insole on this one. You see it has a red Nike Air on that one. Black, way easier to come out. I don't know if that has anything to do with anything, if this was made way more durable or something like that, but as you can see, I almost broke my index finger trying to pull these out. This one, I could have pulled it out with my toes. So, at least we have one difference there. A second difference that's right in front of my face, and you guys can see it too, is that this quilted inside on these OG joints is insanity. I feel like I didn't even show you guys, well, I had nothing to compare it to back then when I first showed you this guy, but I feel like I missed this point. That quilted inside on there, these, is just normal. So that is our major difference. Major difference. I've wore both of these shoes, guys. Um, have I hooped in both of them? I don't think so, but uh, I mean, the proof is right in front of you. I don't want to lie. I don't want to make things up. So there we go. This is our Nike More Tempos. Our Asia exclusive. And our newbies. Keep it in the world of Nike. I've been waiting to talk to you guys about the LeBron 14s. I finally got to play basketball in them. Finally. Uh, took me forever to get around to doing it. But I did. And am I happy? Let's say this, I'm not mad. It's not a bad shoe, it is very comfortable. I do like the way that the bottom feels against your foot. But I will say, um, and to the defense of this shoe, I did have on bad socks. And when I say bad socks, I had on socks that might have been too thin to be playing basketball in. So my foot was sliding around because fortunately for people who need that wide toe box, this shoe has that. So make sure that you wear some good basketball gym socks, so or some good gym socks, so that your foot kind of stays in the right place. Because mine was sliding over, moving forward, and it was kicking my tail right here in the toe cap. This little extra suede piece right here, man, killing me, hurting. But overall, good shoe. I will say that, um, and I seen actually I seen somebody mention this online. Um, about this being more of a big man shoe. And I kind of can understand where they're coming from. Um, I will say when I had them on, it didn't, it wasn't the lightest of sneakers compared to what I wore. You know, I've told you guys I've loved like the Kobe 8, 9, those type of things. And um, other, other shoes that are just like way lighter, um, not as much ankle support. But 
This shoe, I feel, it gives you the illusion of ankle support, but in reality, it doesn't really protect the ankle. Um, it really more protects the, the base of the foot, the foot part. I will say the, the materials that they've used going around here, show you guys more detailed looks of it, is it protects the foot. I will say my, I, I have pretty strong ankles, so I wasn't complaining about it, but this shoe, oh, when it comes to ankle support, I don't think that that's the, the biggest focus. I feel like it keeps your foot in place. And once you have, you, it's very true to size. I got an 11, this is a size 11. I didn't need a size smaller or a size bigger. Um, like I said, the, the beautiful thing about it, the, plus, the positives and the plus, is that for, I feel like they're not a many attractive sneakers for people who need a wide toe base, for, especially for playing basketball. And this shoe does provide that. Um, would I hoop in this shoe daily? I wouldn't. It's a little bit too clunky for me. Um, nice colorway. Um, they definitely, I, I appreciate Nike always staying true to being an athletic sneaker brand. You know, um, we're not trying to fake you on, on lifestyle. If you want to wear these to go to the club, that's on you. That's not what we put out there. We don't, they don't commercialize LeBron wearing these in the club. They, com they do commercials and they promo the shoe being used for what it's made to do, play basketball. What do you guys favor LeBron's? I mean, this is 14th shoe, by the way, 14. That's amazing. Shout out to you, LeBron, my favorite player. So I definitely, it's always love. But you guys, you know, I have to be honest about every sneaker that's on my show that I wear. I got to give you that experience, man. I definitely do. I mean, I've had better experiences in the LeBron 8, you know, hooping in them. But I feel that I've always had that toe box issue. And this was the first one that I did not have that toe box issue. But I will say it's a little bit wider than normal. So you got to make sure that you wear your right gym socks. Once again, Nike. LeBron, keep them coming, man. Shout out to you, man. 14 signature shoes. That's amazing, man. I've been wanting to talk about this shoe even when I was complaining about not doing the show. And I finally, finally get to talk to you about this shoe. This is the Nike Air Pressure. They originally came out in 1989. This is the retro version of the Nike Air Pressure, which I was so amazed to pick up last year. It came out, boom. The first person that ever put me on this sneaker was my good OG, amazing person, Greg Street. I remember I had him on the show and we went to Sneaker Friends at one of those amazing sneaker shows in Atlanta and he had these on display and it actually was it was eating away here. It was eating away around the sole. And I was like, yo, what shoe is this? It comes with a water tank? This is wild. Like, this is, this is, this is unreal. Like, but once again, that, that is why we do sneakers. That is why we collect. It's art. This is not just like, oh, me throwing on some shoes to go to the club. This is art. This is crazy. Like, look at this packaging, guys. Like, I mean, I could pull out stuff for days, per se. And you had to care to care. I know the kids are probably like, bro, I don't care about this shoe. I'm not wearing this to school. But for a guy like me, who's a little bit older and can appreciate amazingness like this, I had to get it. Um, I think I got him off eBay also. Have a little manual, show you how it works, break it down for you. Like I said, these originally came out in 1989. Kind of break this down for you, show you what's going on here. This strap is totally removable if you want it to be. Boom. Like that. Leather upper, leather all the way around. Bam. <laughs> it says patent pending right here. Amazing stuff, man. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. What is that insole? Normal ins normal insole, normal insole. Yeah. Bam. Like that. Boom. Cool. 
You guys deserve it, so I'll definitely bust these out the plastic for you. Oh, man. How'd the wrapper? Bam. So you get the full experience. Not much difference on this one and the other. I like the plastic. This right here is like a plastic feel. This um, goes on here like this. Like that. Nike Air Pressure. Yep. And like this is the actual box, so it has a sizing for the shoe actually on the canister type situation. Nike logo on the outside. Just real OG. When you think of like there's an OG Nike feel, I mean to get this in 2016 when these came out, to me, that for those OG sneakerheads, this is great. And for a kid who is, you know, into collecting pieces, this is a good piece for you to collect. Just, you know? I know my buddy the shoe museum would appreciate a shoe like that. That's my boy. He actually looked out for me on this South Carolina training Nike, Nike Road. Shout out to Shoe Museum, my boy. But this is your Nike Air Precious, guys. Awesome shoe, work of art. Check out the bottom here. Get these out of the way. I feel like all I'm missing now is a little Gatorade. I want to bring out this guy, minus gym rope. Obviously, I'm in a workout type of mood today. So you guys, you remember the samples I showed you back in the day? 94. Shout out to the shoe game or Nice Kicks, whoever had the link up was like, yo, oh, if you're interested in if you're a Jordan 2 fan, this is DS pair, sample pair on eBay. I went and bought them. Shout out to you guys, whoever it was. I brought these up because you guys know this is my favorite Jordan. I love the Jordan 2. Came out in 1987, same year I was born. But I brought these so I can tell you about these. Where it all started, Pack. And yes, it's huge and amazing. So I'm gonna give you a, you can't even see me. This is the biggest box ever. You can bury Michael Jordan in this box. Good grief. But I appreciate it. That's really dope. This pays an ode to the guy, the man, the legend, the goat himself. Um, the mid 80s. Ugh, let me show you guys. Ugh. So we got here. In celebration of Michael Jordan's love of the game. This is the love of the game pack, where it all started pack. Uh, Jordan Brand and Converse collaborated on the special two pack, celebrating two iconic silhouettes that MJ wore early in his career. In the 80s, if for the person who doesn't know, I know every, I know you guys know everything. You're the internet. You guys know it all. But Michael Jordan played basketball in the 80s in college at the University of North Carolina. Love that school. I'm a Duke guy, but love North Carolina. Jordan played there, she, Wallace, Vince Carter, you name it. He played there in the 80s. Uh, that kind of started his legacy of amazingness when it comes to being the guy that we know Jordan for, Mr. Clutch. Being the person who's not scared to take that shot and hit it. Mr. Success. Mr. Shore Points. As you can see, we got the North Carolina bag for our Converse mids. Let me show you this right here. Boom. This is our mid-top Converse fast break. What, what, what you want me to tell you? Oh, this is the hypest thing out? All the kids should have these walking to school? I don't know. But to me, this is great because, once again, when you're collecting sneakers, you collect sneakers for different reasons. And you want to tell stories. And you have your own stories. You know when you collect a certain sneaker and you look back at that sneaker and it tells a story for you. I mean, for Nike, for Jordan, that's what this is. This is Michael Jordan, fresh out of high school, in college, the man. Converse, baby. Don't sleep on your OGs, man. OGs make it possible for who you are today. And Converse, you are a great OG. I got number love for you as I dig into this insole of your shoe. To show you, bam, a little flavor, a little, little insole flavor. Keep it true, baby blue. It's pretty awesome to have the Converse All-Star all outside and the Air Jordan insole. That's kind of cool. I'm just putting it out there. That's kind of cool, guys. 
I couldn't imagine playing basketball in these now. I could Would I? I mean, maybe if I had them on already and somebody was talking junk and I was walking by a basketball court and I was like, oh, sure, kid, I'll come kick your butt. I would have, and I had these on, well, then I got to live up to what I'm wearing. But in general, I'm not leaving the house with these to hoop in. Converse fast break. And I'm going to finish the rest of the statement written on the inside of this box. It says, the Converse fast break and the Air Jordan 2 catapulted MJ onto the world stage and showed fans that man was truly meant to fly. Hey, only for people like Michael Jordan and, you know, Kobe Bryant, LeBron, those guys, those words actually really stick with us because I feel like we have seen Michael Jordan do the unthinkable, jump the unthinkable, dunk the unthinkable, shoot and hit the unthinkable. That's what type of man he is. The greatness lies in the souls, man. Bam, so this is the other half. Bam, and mind you, just so you see everything, we got the blue side, North Carolina. Bam, Chicago, right here. Chicago! Let's put our dust back down. That's what we got going on in here. Ah, look at that. Mm. So good. So good. So good. So good. This is awesome. <laughs> A person like me, this makes my year. This is automatically goes into my top 10. I don't care if Jordan bleeds on some other shoes and drops them. I'm good. I'm, this is in my top 10. This could be my top five. I'm just saying, I'm super happy. Um, to kind of give you a little bit more detail, compared to, that's the reason I brought these out. These samples, which are, once again, very close to the original here, 90 but it's a sleeker, sleeker toe box, but no difference, as you can see. They didn't add some weird wide toe box to this one. Same difference, guys. I don't want the people to tell you things that are not true. Um, this has a pebbled leather going across the top right here, compared to most of all our other Jordan 2s will always have a smooth leather top cushion part going here, bam. Um, in the middle, they did more of a smooth leather compared to this sample pair where they actually had more like a snake skin looking leather on it, which is pretty awesome, I'm gonna say. I got, I'm too biased, guys, so hearing me talk about it too is like a man talking about his wife who he loves so much, you know? That type of thing. But the reason why they put that hint of blue there to keep it not just making sense with the pack, but Michael Jordan made sure that he put it in his contract that he'd be able to play, he can continuously play throughout the year. Michael Jordan ended up playing in the, in 1984, in the Olympics, he played in these Converse. Then for the Carolina alum game, it was a charity game they did at North Carolina, he actually played in these guys, a PE version of these right here. To know that Michael Jordan actually played in these is awesome. Jordan Brand, MJ himself, guys, I am so happy. This is a Jordan 2. This is 2017 when they don't want you to have Jordan 2s. But what we have, Jordan 2s, they're awesome. Where it all started, pack, Converse, the OGs. You guys, my first pair of sneakers I ever bought my check was some Converse weapons. Yeah, this is the best of both worlds for me, man, when it comes to just history and greatness. So as we take a brief intermission as I close the biggest box ever. You guys thought I fanned out before for Jordan 2s, but when I do my next shoes, you're definitely, definitely gonna be mad at me because our decon pack is amazing. And I'm that guy who happens to have all colors. Shout out to me. The heat just kind of came on the table there, right? You know, I, I feel that. I, I felt it too. Uh, if I was looking at this show and I didn't have any of these and I was a Jordan 2 guy, I would have to take a deep breath. Take that in. But Decon 2, man, shout out to Jordan Brand. My boy Frank Cooker over there, Jordan, man. Get those ideas out, man. Get those ideas out. Like, I appreciate this. Um, my favorite is the yellow. These came out in LA, West Coast only. Um, the Burgundy and Tiffany came out East Coast. Uh, 
I don't know, are you guys able to get all three? How do you guys feel about these? Um, my personal opinion, I would say what's awesome about these compared to, like I said, I'm a Jordan 2 person. Because of the material, it's all suede, all suede top. Everything about it is suede. It's a really nice butter suede. It almost feels like a sample pair of suede. Like, it was like, ah, we could do more, but you know what? We're gonna stop right here. And it's really dope, obviously. And um, each one is all tonal, suede, yellow everywhere, Tiffany everywhere, burgundy everywhere. Insoles, burgundy, insoles, yellow, insoles, Tiffany. Straight to the point. I did see they coming out with some more colors. I'm not gonna jump on that train. This is a good train right here. I'm gonna keep riding this train to Georgia. Straight up. This is the midnight train right here, guys. Man. This gorilla glue that they use to put stuff down inside these days. Boom. White jumps up, jump man. Straight to the point, man. Like I said for this, this is great summer, great summer shoe. Great summer shoe. My yellow ones haven't got to bust them out yet. Shout out to my boy John for the pickup on these. I will say, with our Decon and Jordan 2 just in general, they're lighter. They're lighter. I literally could wear them all day. It's all good. You know, you just gotta worry about getting them dirty. I totally enjoy having all three of these. It makes me feel great. They're awesome. They're all colors I could bust out for the summer. Here, Jordan 2 Decon. Jordan 2, gang. Changing brand, guys. <laughs> you know, I like to make you guys so upset, so you guys talk about me so bad in the comments. Hello. But, guys, I buy vans. And every van that I buy is not shiny and glittery or some type of crazy collab. I just like normal, good old school vans. Yellow suede, skate eyes. Yeah. I will say one thing about these green joints, they're super lighter, way lighter. I didn't realize that if you could understand how light these are, I've, ultra Kush, C-U-S-H. Nothing, nothing different at all, guys. I think they just cut back on the materials. Ultra Kush light. Pick me up. I'm super lightweight, and they're not lying. Like, they're not lying at all. They're really marketing this ultra cush light, so I don't want to cheat you guys of that. And wow, oh, that was intense. Huh, I like that green insole on the green shoe. Ultra cush light. These are super, super lightweight bands. I don't know what made them do it. I don't know what made them do it, but I am happy to have them. I am happy to have them. What's your guys' favorite normal vans? Not even no crazy collabs. What are your favorite colorway in vans? Is it the black and white? Is that your favorite? You guys let me know in the comments below. I hope you have learned something awesome today. I hope I'll be able to share some light on a sneaker that you want, that you cared about. And you share the same passion for Jordan 2s that I do, which is probably not the same, but definitely, guys, Till the next time, this is Camp James, episode three. Shout out to my boys, Sneaker Inc, man.